So David, quite the wake-up call you got. Uh, facing elimination right off the bat without any warning whatsoever. When you saw that card, did you not want to open it at the, ta at the table? No, no. I mean, you know, when we walked in there, uh, we know that we'd have to open it at some point. I, uh, I kind of had a feeling um, there was going to be something about me or to me or, or I didn't know. I, I had one point across my mind that I was going to say, David, since you're the money, let's go home sort of thing, you know. So mm -hmm. um, at, least I had a, at least I had a chance to stay on the show. Uh, but I figured, you know, um, they do a great job editing me because uh, I'm not a very good decision maker on the show. I think it took me about 15 or 15 minutes or so to, to make that decision pick Carl. Uh, so I, I, I figured out that I had to make some decision. And I just gave myself the most time to kind of think through my options. And um, You know, I, I eat breakfast every morning, but uh, I'm so amped up to kind of get going and start playing and see what the day entails. Uh, you know, I'm not 100% focused on eating as it is anyway. So mm -hmm. uh, it, it definitely was. Uh, right away, you know, usually you can kind of eat breakfast and you think, but you don't have to, you know, there's no pressure on you. Right away, I was just kind of threw me under the bus and I have to start strategizing and thinking about what I'm going to do. So, uh, definitely a high intensity day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, 15 minutes to pick Carl, um, but you did pick Carl, and it, uh, you know, I'm assuming it came down to the fact that he had the least experience of anybody out there, not necessarily that he hadn't been playing well. Is that what made you make that decision or was there something else? Um, you know, that, everybody's kind of asking me why I picked him and uh, I'll tell you the same thing I told the guy interviewing. Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't have, like, I guess there's certain reasons why you pick somebody, you know, like um, kind of your subconscious takes over or whatever, but the only thing I can honestly say is I wasn't picking Kent. Mm -hmm. um, that's the only thing I was going to say. I, people, for, you know, at that time I never really thought, you know, I guess I could have changed positions on the money board with Shank and all that stuff, but um, like I, I, I said in the day, I did bonus features on the golf channel and I just listened to them and, you know, it was a long par five and Shank hits driver eight iron and I'm hitting driver three wood and then like a wedge in there, he has a big upper hand, so I didn't know what the hole was going to entail, I just know that I was going to be playing golf. Um, and uh, in my mind, it was between Will and Carl. Mm -hmm. uh, because that, I mean, I hit the ball the same distance as, as Will, and uh, Carl, I, I just don't have a good reason why I picked Carl. I, I guess the only reason was I felt that I could beat him at that given point in time. Good thing I played him in the morning and not the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You wouldn't want to see that three-wood uh, shot no, too many no. times. No, no. Well, you said you had to strategize, but on TV, going into that competition, even though if you lost, you were off the show. I mean, there wasn't even, okay, if you lost, you're going into the elimination challenge. You were gone. So what did you do? What was your strategy going in? You looked so relaxed. Yeah, well, you know what? The one thing that the show teaches you uh, is kind of patience. Like, I I was actually watching, when I watched it last night, my swing finally looked like my golf swing. Um, mm -hmm. Not tentative, because... You know, if I went out there and made birdie and Carl ends up making eagle, you know, if he holds out from the very bunker or whatever, I still go home. So I'm not guarding against anything. I'm not guarding against my position on the money list. I'm not guarding against uh, strategizing and like that. Like, I just have to play golf. Um, so my swing was even a little bit more aggressive and, and I hit the ball better. Uh, you know, so I, I try to stay relaxed. I think it was the most relaxed, oddly enough. It was the most relaxed I was all competition because I didn't have anything to worry about. I... I hit the shots and I stay on the show or I don't I go home. It's not like I go to the elimination challenge and try to play it again. That, that was it. You know, Carl had nothing to lose except for some money. I had everything to lose. So there's no point in being tentative um, and kind of advancing the ball and, you know, I, you need to go out and play golf. So I just kind of told myself if you, if you go down, at least kind of go down like playing golf, not, you know, don't have any regrets. Like swing all out and be aggressive and taking him at the, at the stick and all that, and, and that's what I did. Well, you know, you and Carl have a lot in common that way. I mean, you both, when you were really fighting for your survival, you on this particular challenge, he wasn't so much, so maybe he wasn't quite as focused. You were very focused. Um, you know, like you said, you went for it 100%. And then watching him play in the elimination challenge when he was, his uh, butt was on the line coming out of that bunker, hitting that three-wood with everything he had and the best shot he says he's ever hit. So. 
You know, there's, yeah. a, there's that uh, real mental strength in both of you that's quite impressive and we don't see in a lot of people. You no, know, I, I always, you know, when I was younger, um, a lot of people close to me thought I, I didn't have a great mental game. Um, and I personally think my mental game is the best part of my golf game. Uh, because, you know, I've said it on the show, and I think I might even said it to you, I never really give up. Like, if I go and shoot 42 on the front nine, I feel like I can go and shoot 30 on the back nine. Mm -hmm. And um, that's kind of, that's, I'm just, you know, I, I've tried to actually read some of these golf forums, and I actually, I was just reading one a minute ago, and, you know, it's like, I'm the scrappy. Like, <laughs> like yesterday it actually, it looked, it looked better. Um, but, like, against P, it just looked Bad. Um, mm -hmm. But I got it done. You know, I made a couple putts. Like uh, I just seemed to kind of find a way to, I guess, like in this show, advance. You know, um, mm -hmm. but today, today was definitely, um, or I guess last night's episode was. Uh, it was nice to see me finally playing golf. You know, not hitting shots. Like, I, I, I played golf. I felt like the person I was watching on TV, that golfer was the same golfer if I was to go and play around to golf, which was relieving since. Um, some of the shots I've hit on the show have been pretty uh, painful to watch. <laughs> well, I think everybody can say that, including Kent last night. He looked a little rusty going out there, and uh, I don't think we've seen that really from him so far in the series. Well, the, mm -hmm. the, th the thing is, it's just, like, now, you know, I always saw it, and it's, it's unfortunate now that I am still last on the money list. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, it, for, for Carl, with the exception of that elimination challenge, I'll be giving that immunity challenge. For Carl, Will, and Kent, none of them have even felt the pressure of really anything. Mm -hmm. um, and for me, I, from a pure pressure standpoint, I have more experience, at least on the show, than any of those three combined. Mm -hmm. uh, just because I've been in an elimination against Russell, against PD, I wake up to an elimination challenge. If I don't move on from this immunity challenge, I know I'm going back to elimination challenge. And at the time I didn't really, you know, I thought I would be at a half stroke disadvantage. So I've been, my, my back has been essentially up against the wall since week three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so it, I just felt that I had, you know, when I saw all those guys miss, miss the fairway, um, I had the same strategy. I'd go up there and just swing at it hard and, and hit it. And, um, you know, these, you, you can tell like, the guys are they were more nervous because none you know you just don't want to be in an elimination challenge. Um, but it, it it's a disadvantage that I'm still going on my list, but it's a huge advantage that I've gone through that experience and felt that pressure before. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I definitely see that. You you definitely looked like you had gained confidence over the series as opposed to some people losing their confidence. Well the question keeps coming into my brain over this one. If you had been eliminated in that first challenge with Carl. Then they put two, you know, somebody away at the end, if Robbie had gone on to be eliminated, there'd be two gone in one show. Um, but now there isn't. So what's the Golf Channel going to do going forward? Like, how do they plan for one content, one situation or another? Well, it's amazing. Like, I actually asked the exact same question when I was there because I'm such a huge fan of the show. I'm like, how do they do this? Like, how do they just do things on the whim? And I think what they do and I mean, I don't, I don't call me or I guess whatever, you know, but I think from what I understand is that they were like, okay, if David wins, then we're going to do this. If mm -hmm. David loses, we're going to do this. Mm -hmm. um, and it would probably all take place on the same hole um, and whatnot, you know. So I, I don't, like, I know some people think that uh, they make the challenges as they go on and whatnot, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure in, in how they do the challenge, they'd be like, okay, in show eight, the person last on the money list is going to have to pick somebody to play against. And if that person wins, then we'll do this. If that person loses and goes home, then we'll do this. Mm -hmm. So um, it's all kind of predetermined on, on, um, for the challenges. Uh, I think there's options, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, uh, it's just kind of one of those things that they, they were prepared for. Uh, you thinking back on, on how they put together this series, it's incredible to think of what they do and how they do it, and, and there's so much thought that goes into every single thing that they do. Like, um, like even with, with the immunity challenge, giving Will four points, and then Ken three, and Carl two, Shank one, and me none. Like, mm -hmm. that's just like, that's a little thing, you know, um, that makes such a big difference. Mm -hmm. And, 
the more I watch it, I can you know I can see why I've been attached to the show for the last fourteen seasons because it's it's so well thought out and it's it's great for TV. And it's getting better all the time. I mean, it's by far the best yeah. break as far as the different challenges and the the way they've set it up with the money and everything. It's, it's just terrific. Well, you know, and then they surprise us again. There's no advantage going into the elimination by whoever's higher on the money list, like there has been every week so far. Right. So that's a surprise. And then the two people you just do not want to see go against each other or face each other. I mean, you couldn't have planned it better, I guess. But it was hard yeah. for me to watch. What, what about you? Um, you know, I I uh, I said it in in one of my little interviews uh, after the show. And, for me, that was the toughest elimination challenge uh, because I consider both Shank and Carl to be good friends of mine. And I, there's something. I mean, there's just something about Shank that you gotta love. You know what I mean? Everybody loves the guy. Um, I don't even know if as you know as many viewers will tune in next week because he's gone. Uh, he was kind of like the, a little like the face of our season. You know, <laughs> the lines that guy has. I mean, the show won't be definitely won't be as humorous about the guy. Um, it was just it was it was tough and the way. You know, he, we all kind of, every time somebody gets eliminated, we kind of go and, you know, we have a talk, and we all hang around by the, by the green or wherever the challenge gets finished, and mm -hmm. Shank had so many nice things to say, and, and you can see, you know, he's really used this experience to better himself, and mm -hmm. uh, as you saw at the end of the show last, last night there. Uh, but it was, it was tough, because that's why I think, you know, a lot of people think the season is good for, you know, for whatever variety of reasons, and some people, you know, some people, you know, don't like it or don't like the half a shot thing and all that stuff but from us being from a player standpoint we said after about a day we realized how close they were going to be and how like great everybody was as a person and we said that we were probably going to be the cast that got along most with everybody mm -hmm. um you know like we just we all get along so well uh so you know i think i've even told you before it's hey as long as i'm on the show that mm -hmm. trumps everything but at the end of the day, it's really tough to see a friend go home knowing that, you know, they've probably worked just as hard as you have and um, they have a lot of people rooting for them and made a lot of sacrifices for them. So um, it, it's just it's tough to see. But at the same time, I, I went there to try to change my life. So I needed to keep that kind of in the forefront of my mind uh, mm -hmm. as I went through the competition. Yeah, no, and, and you've got it right. That's exactly what you have to do. and, and Carl and, and Shank would be the first two people to, um, you know, say that's absolutely true too. That they're all there to win, and yet you can win with honor. And uh, and Carl won with honor, and Shank lost with honor yesterday. But you know, yeah, that's, 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 that's key. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. the way the way Shank went out, and the way everybody's kind of gone out. Um, I just they had been so good, you know. Uh, it, it's just they're just people, you know what I mean. And it, whether you know whether I continue my experience on the show next week and I, I do well or I do poorly, um, I learned so much just from from being on the show, and it definitely changed my life mm -hmm. as to handling pressure on the golf course and the, the people I met. Uh, you know, I still Ken sent me a text last night saying, "Loved your impression of me." Uh, mm -hmm. My family thought it was pretty hilarious and whatnot, and it. We just became good friends. It was just getting to know all the guys and the stories and whatnot. It definitely uh, changed my life for the uh, better. That's great. That's great. Well, David, this has been terrific. Every week, I thank you so much for continuing to stick with me on this. I can't wait to talk to you next week. We're winding down the final four. Anything you want to close with? Uh, I don't really have anything good to close with. I usually say it's, it's going to be interesting or fun or whatnot, but, uh, you know, it's 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 getting down to the end and um hopefully my my quest will continue on here yeah well i hope so too so you have a great week and we'll talk next week okay okay great thanks so much